now i am moving into the special case of a continuous time marco chain that is a birth death process this is a very important uh, time homogeneous uh, continuous time marco chain because uh, many of the scenario can be mapped with the birth death process either with the finite state or infinite state let me first give the definition of a birth death process i started with a continuous time marco chain that's a time homogeneous continuous time marco chain with the state space uh, countably infinite it can be a finite also that ctmc is going to be call it as a birth death process if there exists a constants lambda i and mu i such that and these are all nothing but the infinite decimal generator matrix elements and this is i to i plus 1 that rate is always lambda i and the rate in which the system is moving from the state i to i minus 1 that rate is mu i and the diagonal elements are minus of lambda i plus mu i whereas uh, all the other rate rates the system is moving from the state i to j other than i to i plus 1 i to i minus 1 and i to i and all other rates are it's always zero absolute of i minus j is greater than 1 that means uh, you will have the infinite decimal generator matrix in which uh, you will have only have a di diagonal matrix tri diagonal matrix and all other elements are going to be zero i can write down the condition so that uh, it land up uh, the rates are going to be only lambda i and mu i so on not all other rates are going to be zero so if i start with i is equal to zero the system is moving from the state 1 to 0 in the interval of delta t because it's a time homogeneous model so this is nothing but this probability the system is moving from the state 1 to 0 in the interval of delta t that is nothing but the rate is mu 1 times delta t plus order of delta t similarly the system is moving from the state 0 to 0 from the time t to t plus delta t or during the interval delta t that is nothing but 1 minus lambda not times delta t plus order of delta t so this mu i is and the lambda not and so on these values are always going to be greater than or equal to 0 strictly greater than 0 also for i is greater than 0 the system is moving from the state i to i that is 1 minus lambda i times delta t minus mu i times delta t plus order of delta t whereas the system is moving from i plus 1 to i one step backward that is mu i plus 1 delta t the system is moving from the state i minus 1 to i for i is greater than 0 that's a forward one step move that is lambda times i minus 1 delta t plus order of delta t this order of delta t it may be a function of delta t it need not be the same as a t tends to, as a delta t tends to 0 this quantity is uh, are going to be 0 order of delta t divided by delta t is going to be 0 therefore <coughs> this is the way the system is uh, moving from the one state to either one step forward or either one step backward or move anywhere so these are all the only three possibilities with these probabilities therefore we land up the q matrix is going to be the system is moving from the state i to i plus 1 forward one move that rate is uh, lambda i and the system is moving from the i to i minus 1 one step backward that is mu y or the system being in the same state that rate is a minus lambda i plus mu y therefore there is no other move from the system from one state to all other states either one step forward or one step backward so this can be visualized in the state transition diagram since i started with the state space 0 to 
infinity, there is a possibility you can have a label from uh, some uh, negative integers to the positive integers. So, you can always uh, transform into something. Therefore, default uh, scenario or the simplest one I discussed from 0 to infinity. Therefore, you can visualize whatever be the label that can be transferred in a one to one fashion. So, this is the rate in which the system is moving from the state 0 to 1 that rate is lambda naught. The system is moving from the state 1 to 2 that rate is lambda 1 or the system is moving from the state 1 to 0 that rate is mu 1. Therefore, the time spent in the state 1 before moving into any other states that is a minimum of the, the time spending in the state uh, 1 before moving into the state 2 or the system time spending in the state 1 before moving into the state 0. So, both are uh, exponentially distributed with the parameters lambda 1 and mu 1 and the minimum of that time is the spending time or the waiting time in the state 1 that is going to be exponential distribution with the parameter lambda 1 plus mu 1 because uh, both are independent the time spending in the state 1 before moving into the state 2 and similarly the time spending in the state 1 before moving into the state 0 and both the random variables are independent that is assumption therefore it is going to be a exponentially distributed uh, random variable uh, the time spending in the state 1 that is exponentially distributed with the parameter lambda 1 plus mu 1. Like that you can discuss for all other states. So, whenever you have a C birth death process, the system either move one step forward or one step backward, then it is called a birth death process. Therefore, here this uh, lambda i's are called, uh, the system is moving from one state to pass forward one step, therefore, this lambda i's are called uh, birth rates. The system is moving from one state to the previous one state and the corresponding rates mu i s, mu 1, mu 2, mu 3 and so on and these rates are going to be called it as a death rates. So, lambda i s are nothing but uh, the lambda i s are nothing but the birth rates that means uh, the rate in which the system is uh, moving from the state i to i plus 1 that depends uh, on i therefore, that rate is lambda i. The system is moving from the state i to i minus 1 that is related to the death by 1 that, that is a function of i therefore, that death rate is mu i. So, the lambda i's are the birth rates and the mu i's are the death rates. Therefore, this is suppose uh, example the system moving from the state 2 to 1 the death rate will be mu suffix 2. So, you can fill up the q matrix if you see the q matrix uh, it is a tri diagonal matrix. So, here I am giving few examples for the birth death process. The first example consists of uh, the first example is a finite state model. <coughs> the birth rates are uh, lambda naught lambda 1 till lambda n minus 1, the death rates are mu 1, mu 2 and mu n. It is a finite state uh, birth death process. The second example is the infinite state birth death process. The third example, the all the death rates are uh, 0, that is also possible. The fourth example, all the birth rates are 0 that is also possible, but you can discuss the uh, one can discuss the state classification also. The first one all it is a finite state model all the states are communicating with all other states therefore, it is a irreducible positive recurrent uh, birth death process. The second one it is a infinite state all the states are communicating with all other states it is irreducible but one cannot conclude without uh, knowing the values about the lambda naughts and uh, lambda i's and the mu i's one cannot conclude it is a positive recurrent or null recurrent. If the mean recurrence time that is going to be a finite one then you can conclude it is a positive recurrent 
otherwise it is null recurrent. So, as such one cannot discuss now the passive recurrent or null recurrent, but you can conclude it is a recurrent state. The third example, the system is keep moving forward, therefore uh, all the states are transient states, it is not a reducible, it is a reducible model, all the states are transient states. That means uh, as a t tends to infinity, the system will be in the some infinite state. So, one cannot define an infinite state, therefore uh, the limiting distribution would not exist in this situation. The fourth example, it is a finite model, but all the states are not communicating with all other states, therefore it is a not a irreducible, it is a reducible model. Whenever the system starts from some state other than 0, over the time the system is keep moving backward and uh, once it reaches the state 0, it will be forever. Therefore, state 0 is the observing barrier, 